Greetings movie readers and happy Star Wars Day. So today I'll be showing you a, my collection of Star Wars event novelizations. I will start off with the most obvious Star Wars itself. It says here written by George Lucas, but everyone knows this was actually written by Alan Dean Foster. This is a later reprint by Sphere Books with some colour stills on the inside. Can't afford that first edition, I'm afraid. Nice artwork on the front. Next up, I have Empire Strikes Back. Again, with some stills in the centre, in colour. So as you can, as it's quite obvious, these were later reprints. I think this is a first edition. And that my one, my Star Wars copy would have been issued at the same time. So yes, this is 1980. And I think even though it says on here, 1976. And published by, in 77, reprinted five times. So this reprint would have coincided with the release of Star Wars. I have to say this one was a bit disappointing. This is the novelization by Donald F. Glut, or Glut, and it wasn't an enjoyable read, whereas Star Wars is because it was published just before the film came out and before any of the special effect shots were finalized and the final look wasn't quite wasn't quite finished, so we did have a slightly different version to what we saw. Next I have, of course, Return of the Jedi, published by Futura in the United Kingdom. This is 1983, I'm presuming. Published by Futura, 1983. This was a better read. I also have from a charity shop Return of the Jedi in full colour. This is the f official comic book version, which is basically a paperback version of the annual that was released to coincide with the movie. All in colour, which is actually quite cool. And of course, this is my beaten up copy from what I had as a teenager. This is the trilogy published by Del Rey. Uh, this one is, well, it's reprinted plenty of times, but this was the first mass market edition in 1993. You can get these quite cheaply still. I think it even still in print, I'm not sure. Now, my next novelized Star Wars novelizations are the prequels. Don't ask me why, but I have them all in hardback. I came across one of them cheaply in the second-hand shop, and they just sort of kept appearing, so I just went with the flow and went on with the hardback version. This is episode one, The Phantom Menace, written by Terry Brooks, well-known fantasy author. Published by Century, this is in 19... which one was this? 1990-something. First edition, 1999. Next, of course, I have Attack of the Clones by R.A. Salvatore. Nice cover on this one. Published in 2001, I think this was. Or 2002. 2002. Then the best one of the uh, novelizations of the prequels, Star Wars Revenge of the Stith, Sith, Stith, by Matthew Stover, published by Sentry. This was 2005, I believe. Again, this is just another charity shop find. 
and I just went with the hardback Two thousand and five, yeah. And then returning to the Star Wars fold again is Alan Dean Foster for the Disney sequels. This is The Force Awakens, published again by Century Books. Not much on the uh, outside of those. We do have some colour stills though this time. So much but wasted potential. Never mind. Next is The Last Jedi by Jason Fry. I do believe they did try and make up for some of the shortfalls of this movie. Again, published by Century Books. It's quite a good cover on this one. Quite like this. However, it's a little bit too little too late. Um, some people might have noticed that a lot of novelizations now are coming out after the film. This one came out, I think, a few months after, after a few rewrites, no doubt. As did the novelization for The Rise of Skywalker. This is by Ray Carson. Again, another nice striking cover, published by Century Books. This is the expanded edition. And this was published... Not too sure when. Again, we've got some colour stills in the centre as well. Coming back with that colour still motif in the centre. Very nostalgic. I think there was some in yep, there is some in here as well for The Last Jedi. Oh yeah, there's a... Ray lifting rocks. Amazing how she learned that so quick. Luke Skywalker couldn't even lift up a, an X-Wing. She seems to be able to throw rocks around like it's nobody's business. Anyway, that is it for now. That is my Star Wars collection. I hope you enjoyed looking at it. Thank you very much and goodbye.